Caesars Palace is one of the most famous luxury hotels and casinos in Las Vegas. It was opened on 5th August 1966 and was founded by Jay Sarno and Stanley Malin. Both sought to create an opulent facility that gave guests a sense of life during the Roman Empire. It has a 20-foot statue of Augustus Caesar near the entryway, as well as other statues, columns, and iconography characteristic of Hollywood Roman-era plays. The hotel contains 3,960 rooms and suites in six towers and a convention center with over 300,000 square feet. The hotel has a wide range of facilities, restaurants, and attracts some of the highest rollers. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will show you 10 things about Caesar's Palace. Let's begin. Number 10. Hotel Rooms the hotel has rooms, villas, and suites, so if you want to just stay and relax, you can choose your favorite. The rooms offer various amenities such as minibar, 24 hours room service, and in-room massage service. One of their room attractions is their luxury villas. Their villas will take you to another level. If you stay in one of these magnificent Las Vegas villas, you'll feel like you're the emperor of your own private estate for the duration of your trip. Enjoy luxuries such as butlers that speak your language, private elevators, airport limo transfers, fireplaces, private patios, spa pools, and more. They have over-the-top amenities like indoor fountains, fireplaces, grand pianos, marble baths, private patios with spa pools, fitness rooms, steam showers, billiard rooms, wet bars, and more. Number 9. Restaurants Caesars Palace has various options when it comes to food, so if you are a foodie or a picky eater, you don't have to worry while staying here. The hotel has food courts, Starbucks, a grab-and-go pastry shop by Michelin star chef Guy Savoy, 10 restaurants which include two from chef Gordon Ramsay. If you are a big fan of Gordon Ramsay Hell's Kitchen Show and always wanted to see the whole service, then you can book yourself a table there. The restaurant is located in front of Caesars Palace, just off the strip, and was opened in 2018. The 8,000-square-foot building features two bars, two dining rooms, seating for 300 people, and floor-to-ceiling windows with the Las Vegas Strip. The best part will be that you will get to try the signature dish of Chef Ramsay's Beef Wellington. Number 8. Omnia If you are a fan of nightlife, then you would want to experience the nightlife of your lifetime in Omnia. Omnia is a 75,000-square-feet nightclub. A sensuous ultra lounge, a high-energy main room and mezzanine, as well as a beautiful rooftop garden with panoramic views of the Las Vegas Strip are all part of the multi-level facility. The main area of Omnia has multiple layers, a spacious dance floor, antique mirrors, and rich leather chairs, all of which are set against a massive dynamic LED chandelier that rises, falls, morphs, and alters to the beat of the night. The patio, which looks out over the famous Las Vegas Strip, takes guests to a magnificence of an outdoor retreat with a dash of technological wonder. Open air meets modern luxury with embedded lights in glass floor tiles throbbing to the beat from the LED-laced DJ booth. Number 7. Opening of Caesars Palace Caesars Palace's three-day grand opening celebration cost $1 million. More than two tons of filet mignon, 50,000 glasses of champagne, and 30,000 fresh eggs were devoured by the 1,800 guests. The event also included the world's biggest order of Ukrainian caviar. Cocktail waitresses in Greco-Roman wigs would greet guests and say, Welcome to Caesar's Palace, I am your slave, and Andy Williams and Phil Richards were the performers at the opening. The new hotel's substantial publicity has garnered $42 million in advance bookings by the time it opened. Number 6. Jay Sarno's Big Idea Involved Piranhas Jay Sarno was the developer, hotelier, and casino owner from the U.S. He built and owned the Atlanta Cabana Motel in Atlanta, Georgia, and a number of other motels in California and Texas. He was also a founding member of Caesar Palace. Jay Sarno intended to place piranhas in the pool of the hotel's Bacchanal Room restaurant at one time. The idea was that the busboys would scrap the dishes into the pool where the piranha would devour the trash. He planned to drop a suckling pig into the pool where it would be consumed by the fish, apparently to amuse guests. Thankfully, the health department rejected the concept for various reasons, one of which was the risk of someone sticking their finger in it. Number 5. Caesar's Palace Almost Became a Denny's Denny is an American table service diner style restaurant chain that was founded by Harold Butler and Richard Gizak. It has over 1,700 restaurants in many countries. In 1969, there was talk about Denny's acquiring Caesar's Palace. The idea behind this was Butler. Investors regarded the agreement as enthusiastic, but it never materialized. A Hollywood broker said that Denny's was taking too large a risk moving into casino operations, in contrast to its forte in food service. The Securities and Exchange Commission accused him of presenting a hidden and unlawful deal to some of Caesar's stockholders. Denny's stock price dropped after the transaction fell through. Butler resigned as chairman in 1971 after selling his Denny's shares, which had formerly been worth $80 million. Number 4. Caesar's Palace was named after Julius Caesar 
If you ever visit Caesar's Palace, you will notice Augustus Caesar's statue in the front, and this hotel was named after him. Knowing how cruel a Roman emperor he was, seeing the hotel named after him could have been a buzzkill, or was it just an advertisement? For starters, Julius Caesar's was known for committing genocide. During the Gallic Wars, his men slaughtered a million people, including 200,000 in one day, and enslaved another million. However, it is said that Jay Sarno was inspired by Emperor Nero's debauchery, and that's why the name Caesar's. The hotel is decorated with various Roman leaders of the Caesar line, a Greco-Roman fantasy land featuring Marvel reproductions of classical sculpture. Number 3. Trevi Restaurant is nowhere near the resort's Trevi Fountain Replica. Located in the heart of the Forum Shops at Caesars, one of the world's greatest shopping destinations, Trevi International Restaurant serves up authentic and approachable favorites from executive chef Jose Navarro for lunch and dinner. The Trevi Italian Restaurant is adjacent to a lovely fountain, however, it is not the Trevi Fountain. Neptune, Pegasus, Diana, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, and Uranus are depicted at the Trevi Restaurant, which is located near the Fountain of the Gods, and it actually doesn't portray Uranus. The Trevi Fountain copy is located outside the Forum Shops and is said to be superior to the original due to its proximity to the blackjack tables. Trevi features an intimate dining room highlighted by an open kitchen and a custom 12-foot tall chandelier. Number 2. Winter Wonderland One of the greatest attractions of Caesar Palace is the Arctic Ice Room. The Arctic Ice Room is a great place to go if you love the coldness of winter. Snow falls gently from a domed ceiling at Quas Arctic Ice Room via mint-infused air that is cooled to 55 degrees. Ice is also ordered in the room for people who wish to massage it on their sweaty skin after a sauna session. After a hot dip, the Romans like chilling down and spa operators claim that quick cooling of the body has proven health advantages. Angela Wagner, a physician from northern Indiana, said that it was still quite nice, even coming from somewhere that had a horrendous winter. She also said that the experience was extremely pleasant after being in the warmer treatments. Number 1. Caesar's Palace was built with mob money As said at the beginning, Caesar's Palace was founded by Jay Sarno and Stanley Mullen. Jay Sarno and Stanley, operators of a cabana hotel, asked for a $10.6 million loan from the Teamsters Central States Pension Fund in 1962, and this fund was sometimes referred to as the Mobs Bank. Jimmy Hoffa, the union head, was the source of the Mobs funds. Sarno would subsequently serve as the architect for the hotel he wanted to build. His goal was to recreate life as it was under the Roman Empire. The purpose of the palace was to create an ambiance that made everyone who stayed at the hotel feel like a Caesar. As a result, the name Caesar's Palace does not include an apostrophe, making Caesar's plural rather than a possessive word. Hope you enjoyed the video. Which of these top 10 things did you find interesting? Let us know in the comment section. Give us a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.